Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the April 19th, 2018 Volta TSP call. So we do have uh, a presentation from Northport to start off today's meeting, and then we will go into some status updates for V1.3. And I do want to remind everyone this is being recorded, so we can post it later to the Volta playlist on YouTube. So keep that in mind as you're sharing your screen for presentations or during the discussion. So with that, I think I will go ahead and introduce Daniel from North Forge. He is going to be giving a presentation on automated testing for Volta. So Daniel, if you're ready, I will give you a presentation, right? Yes, I'm ready. Thanks. Okay. And you should have presenter rights now. Okay, thank you. Uh, do you see my screen? Yes, we do. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you to uh, Julie and uh, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Daniel Lung, uh, the chief architect at Northforge. Uh, so uh, the company plan is to have me and Oleg Puyakov uh, to join the project. Uh, Oleg is not with me today. He's in vacation, but he's a senior software engineer in our company. Um, so in this slide, uh, I would like to give some uh, idea who we are, what we are doing, especially what is the activity related to the Volta project. Uh, for development, uh, we are doing a, a disaggregated uh, tangent EPOND OLT development based on the Volta. We use uh, Broadcom, uh, Maple, and DNA chipset for the OLT. Um, for this project, we run into uh, some issue that uh, similar to the the one of uh, of uh, NTT presentation uh, on Tuesday. Uh, we don't know how to control the the OLT uh, manage the the poor networks uh, using the Vota. Uh, of course, we 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 consider the service profile, but it's not clear that uh, how we will use it. Uh, so uh, in the future, we are very interested in uh, in that direction as well. Uh, we have a FPGA based uh, remote OLT development, and uh, we're working on different uh, uh, network operating system for Wi-Box switches. Uh, we have a lab in house that uh, have a number of uh, of Broadcom uh, evaluation board. Uh, one of them is the uh, 96, 86, 20 QG uh, that have two maple and one QIX on board. Uh, that also show in the, the screen. In the screen, you you see the, the red and yellow uh, chip is the the, the Combrand uh, DNA chips, and the two blacks uh, smaller uh, chip is the, the maple chip. So that the board is is uh, pretty much similar to the. Uh, the H core uh, OLT, but the H core OLT have uh, FPGA and uh, uh, eight uh, maple chipset on that. Uh, this one have only two. Uh, Besides that, we have the XG board that have only the maples, but uh, we can connect the maple board with the, uh, a standalone QX board and make it in, into a OLT as well. Uh, Broadcom Co is a three box solution, so we can control the two separated board from uh, a separated uh, machine or a virtual machine. And we have uh, a number of uh, uh, Broadcom ONU EVB. Uh, we also have traffic generator and a number of uh, resident, residential gateway based on DDR, WRT. Uh, we are doing doing development for different uh, phone and cable companies. Um, we are the, the only authorized development 
collaborator for Broadcom DNX and XGS. DNX is, is uh, you obvious now that uh, that is on the board we show in the, the screen. That is the yellow and uh, and then red color, uh, and it's it's also uh, need to be in the the H core OLT as well. XGS is another uh, switch chipset product from Broadcom. Uh, we have a team to support the tier two and tier three uh, Broadcom customer. Um, we also are development collaborator for uh, Broadcom Maple product. We familiar with uh, Maple SDK and uh, and the Bar SDK, and we have a team to develop uh, FPGA. Uh, products for phone and cable networks. Uh, any question? Good, that means uh, my presentation is very clear. <laughs> um, so so um, I would say uh, in your lab facility right now, you do not have the actual the edge core, uh, the 16 port OLT, but you do have the the uh, eval boards coming from the Broadcom directly, right? The reference board. Oh, we will extend the lab. Uh, for example, recently we asked Edgecore to ship or uh, to lend us uh, Edgecore ASF 16 uh, OLT, and this is on the shipment. We will okay. get it within one week, and uh, after that, we may uh, consider to it. Uh, OLT as well because the Tibet OLT is very interesting for us because it can make uh, uh, it can have to make the, the, the remote OLT easily and the footprint is very small. So we we intend to uh, to to extend our lab with those uh, uh, Wi-Fi OLT. So so uh, is that tr is, uh, okay? So um, your company is uh, developing a FPGA based remote OLT. Yeah. Is that, is that, uh, okay. Um, how many ports for that remote OT? Uh, this project doesn't belong to me, so, but, but I can get uh, the answer for you, uh, and I will send in email. No, that, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that's okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, thanks. Any other question? Okay, um, so um, um, uh, our proposal is um, to is about uh, integration testing framework. Um, so the when we uh, uh, I think it's related to one of our experiment with Novota is uh, come back in January this year. We put the component together, including Vota, and we start to run some tests uh, based on the description on the lab tests. Uh, uh, it is uh, it's in in Vota source code. And the first test we run was the, the authentication test. And we run into some problem, the test doesn't pass. And we go to the, the forum, we start to look into the, the post and we also post, post our own question, but it, uh, it doesn't help. So we need to fix that uh, ourselves. So that make us think that, okay, what if we have a automated uh, integration test to avoid the, the kind of uh, uh, issue. Um, so that is the motivation for, for our proposal to reduce the integration related bugs. Now we look around uh, on different tests of the, uh, the Vota project already have. And the first uh, test framework we fall is the I test. That is the first item in uh, the budget item in, 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 in the, the slide. So with this test, uh, that involve Vota and uh, Ponzi and the test uh, environment or test script uh, based on the eye test and uh, it is controlled the uh, Vota based on the REST interface and it start to, to run different tests but it doesn't involve uh, ONOS controller and it doesn't control uh, it doesn't involve different uh, ONOS based application like OLT app or service or uh, AAA or uh, IGMP proxy or the SCP proxy or radius. Uh, the second test set we found is the OLD OF test. Uh, uh, I don't know why they call it uh, OF test, but uh, basically it's, 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 it's use it's, it's use uh, the flood light controller and it, it put the Volta together with some kind of uh, OLT and ONU hardware. 
but the OLTN ONU hardware can be replaced by uh, uh, mini net simulator. Uh, I think the o OF test is open flow test, right? Yeah, they uh, they they try to test Volta, but uh, in the sense of the forwarding plan, and the forwarding plan is controlled by the open flow, right? So they they try to push the open flow rule from the the floodlight controller, and then they they try to pass the unicast and multicast traffic on that. Uh, I don't see that uh, the, the test they have involve for different owners and owners application, uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, if you have any question, maybe uh, what, 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 uh, if you have, uh, it seems like you have some question regarding to why this test is there, right? So um, mm -hmm. I think the if you, uh, we don't want to spend time here, but I think if you use the vote I discussed and maybe some of the people uh, some in, in the in the community can respond. So the the vote I discussed may be some good place for asking questions. Sure, very good. Um, thank you for that. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, to make the presentation short. So uh, yeah, uh, we, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we have a lot of uh, things in, in that meeting to discuss besides this. Um, so, but for the third one is the lab test. But uh, that that test is uh, look very good because it's. It's it both many component, right? Uh, almost all the component in the court. And uh, uh, it is can run on the hardware and on the phone sim, but uh, but it's remain manual uh, testing. That's uh, for my understanding. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. So let's go to the, the proposal. Um, so we want to put uh, a test uh, that a, a set of tests that involve uh, all the components we want to test as much as possible uh, and uh, code commit in a certain frame we trigger the test and the test can be based on ITES or robot uh, framework and that 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 call different test case uh, and test different components together. Uh, it can run on the phone sim and later on it can be extended to uh, to hardware like H Core OLT and Broadcom ONU as well. Um, the benefit is um, the first benefit is for developers. So if I, I, I finish my coding uh, before I want to commit to the master branch, I want to verify that I didn't break anything. So I can use, I can create, a, I can start a Jenkins uh, task and uh, that does take the code from my branch and it's, it's try to do different uh, uh, um, uh, integration tests and if it passed then I have more confidence to put my code into the master branch. The second benefit is for the team so when the, uh, we are uh, we have a code we can run an integration test at the end of today uh, and uh, every day to make sure that uh, the, the current code in the master branch doesn't uh, break anything. And the third benefit we can have is uh, to, to have a faster release uh, by uh, automation, uh, automation testing. Um, so our plan is uh, to put an uh, automated uh, integration test that involve uh, component including Vota and Onos application. Uh, and discover those uh, use case, uh, the OLT provisioning, enabling, or no discovery, authentication, uh, unicast, DHCP, and multicast. Um, we try to uh, to make it in three milestone. The first milestone, uh, each milestone is on uh, approximately four weeks, and uh, uh, the first milestone cover the first two uh, use case and is including the, the build of the, the framework. Uh, the, the second milestone cover the unicast communication and the, the, the third one cover the multicast. So that is our proposal. Uh, any question? So, um, so the, the testing uh, proposed here is, is as while the while the software being developed, the, the the testing will already starting. Is that is that true, or is after? I, I, I you know because you have to build. A, you say that the first milestone is the uh, 
OLT pro, uh, provisioning enable and ONU discovery enable. Mm -hmm. um, because the I, I in in every development cycle, I think potentially uh, the what I'm saying is maybe some of the component will be will be affected. So so you may not be able to. Um, because you you you're doing the uh, testing against the development track, right? So yeah. so so potentially uh, it, it will not be working as expected. I mean, what I'm saying is, is something will break. Um, so so potentially, uh, it's, but what I'm, what I'm trying to say is the test case will be going to be run co in coincide with the develop development of the new released code on the on the developer track of the code, right? Yeah, it's, uh, you, uh, if we have that framework, then we can run it in, in, in a development branch, in an individual branch, or it can run on the master branch. So it's depend on your process. Uh, okay. The framework is dependent from your process. You decide on the process or how you use the framework, but it's, it's useful in any case, I think. Okay. Um, yeah. So 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 uh, so this is a proposal, and then I I, I do uh, just just happened uh, with uh, I think I I was talking to I was at ONF, and then the the you know the the auto automation of the testing was mentioned uh, with with you know we we're discussed with the uh, ONF uh, throughout and then Shad, um, so so. So you have this proposal. Um, so what's the next step? Um, is this something you're going to build in your facility, and then you're just constantly bringing the 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 the, the code into your facility, and then you just start doing the testing? Or oh, what I'm asking is, what's next? I mean, you know what? Yeah. So the next, if uh, we all here agree that uh, that is the thing uh, we should do, then uh, then Oleg can start uh, when he come back from vacation. To, I think next week we can start from next week, and uh, um, we can develop the framework uh, uh, in house. We can uh, uh, create a Jenkins server test with a different Jenkins task, make sure everything works. Then after that, we can uh, migrate that into um, into the, the your Jenkins server, right? Or the project Jenkins. As, as I understand it, the initial testing code is going to use software only, so it's going to be Volta plus PonSim. Um, and then you're going to extend it out to to use actual hardware. Is that accurate? Yeah, um, but it's not only a PonSim and uh, Volta. It's, it's involved ONOS and ONOS application as well. Yep, understood, understood. OK, so so. Yeah, this this is at least until hardware is available, or the hardware tests are available. It's at least very applicable to the existing Jenkins server, or as, as indicated earlier in the presentation, developers can run the test integration tests before they commit. Once uh, physical hardware is integrated, then that hardware has to be available wherever we want to run those tests. And Correct, but uh, in this um, timeline, I put it here for the first uh, five weeks is only uh, related to the bond team. Sorry, I didn't make it uh, clear. After no. we make everything work with the bond team, then we might consider a plan to extend to, to the hardware. In that case, we need to consider uh, with the availability of the, the hardware and where we will run the, the test. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, appreciate that. The other thing I think you want to be aware of is because um, there is work on the open OLT adapter, and it's not yet decided if the open OLT adapter is going to be leveraging PonSim or not. There mm -hmm. might be, at some point in development time, two simulators, if you will. And they test different aspects, and particularly the aspect of testing the open OLT adapter might mm -hmm. have to use something other than PonSim. So the integration tests might want to take that into account as well. Yeah, I think I got that from a Tuesday meeting that uh, we mentioned that you will want. Have some development for the uh, open OLT uh, related simulator. Yeah, I got that. Thanks. Um, so let me ask one. No, I, I think 
you know, uh, the more lab can be involved doing the testing and then, you know, uh, and reporting the issues, I think that will be great, right? So, um, so uh, you know, David, thanks for the feedback here. And then Chip and, you know, or other people have been doing the development work. Um, do you have any anybody has any comment on, on on this proposal? Is is there anything you know? Uh, no comments. Okay. I just have a quick comment. Uh, in terms of the test cases, uh, in your diagram, uh, in your picture earlier, you mentioned that uh, you'll be triggering the the eye test. Uh, uh, the we'll call the robot uh, to do that. Like exactly, are you reusing the items that we have, or are you building new ones? How would that work? Yeah. So um, the next step, we would uh, uh, get involved with the uh, the people already do the test framework, and we select which one. You know, with eye test is is uh, it's not free, right? This is a commercial product. Now with the robot, because uh, uh, Ian already mentioned to me that. Uh, it called project the U robot framework and it's free so we might decide to use robot in test of uh, e test i test but uh, if the project want to stay with i test yeah we can continue to use the i test this is a discussion point i think uh but go back to your question yes yeah, so we so the code commit to any branch uh, can trigger a, 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 a jenkins job store so it depends on the pro policy of the project it can based on the individual branch or it can be based on the project uh, team branch and it's trigger though uh, integration tests this can be nightly tests or this can be uh, right away after your commit so it's depend on the process okay so so the the test will still be written by the developer whoever is submitting the code right no uh, we will write it for you. Uh, we will write all the test case for you. And uh, you just, uh, when you commit the code, you just uh, allow the, the, the test running on your branch. So it's, it's, it's you don't, basically you don't do, uh, you have, you don't have to do anything. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, thanks. Yeah. But for the, the unit test is different story. We, we, we will not talk about unit test in this uh, proposal. Unit test is separated uh, tasks. We don't, uh, we don't intend to to go to that direction. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I also um, didn't Manuel Paul had a suggestion or Jira related to maybe trying to come up with a a virtualized OLT and ONU test case. Does anyone remember that or? The, 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 yeah, the, the 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 test adapter, right? Yes. So, been, you know, that, that might be something also is depending on how CONSIM can support, what it can support, and maybe what that, if it ever exists, supports. Um, can you explain it a little bit more? Sorry, I, I didn't get the, 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 the question. I, I think about five to six weeks ago, Manuel Paul uh, uh, from Georgia Telecom had mentioned that they had a desire to providing some kind of test framework or at least some some virtualized either a virtualized OLT or virtualized ONU or both so that scale testing and other kind of testing can be performed. Mm -hmm. Can you connect us to, to to that company? What what telecom? What is the name of the, the company? It was it was Manuel Paul at, with Georgia Telecom and I'll start and while you go through your presentation and other people discuss I'll try to search down the Jira story for you. Okay. Yeah, uh, please connect us to, uh, to, to, to the right people so we can use that as well. And then uh, again, so this test, uh, let's say the lab will be in your location. So you, uh, so everything will be, uh, as you said, when the code is committed and then you guys will be notified and then, then um, at least if the changing the script is necessary then 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 the uh, your company will also change the test script and then just run the, the continue run the testing right 
Yeah, it can right. work like that. And uh, uh, per, per my understanding, you all already have a visualized environment as well. But, uh, you have some some Jenkins job that runs some unit tests and, and integration tests. Uh, that is the second bullet point. Uh, sorry, the, the first bullet point that is already running there. Uh, so we, yeah, well, I, I think in the first phase we can run it in in our lab and uh, we see if, if it needed to be migrated to to the project environment or not. Okay. So, so your environment is it uh, the way you're set, setting up to do the testing? Is it like a clustered environment, or are you using any like uh, Kubernetes uh, deployment uh, in order to do run those tests? Uh, how does it work? Yeah, um, it's a good question. I I think uh, the the project is, is is trying to move to Kubernetes, right? So maybe it's, it's a good idea to to pack different component into different uh, Kubernetes container and run the test from there. So I think Kubernetes is a good direction to go. That would be good if uh, if the entire integration test is run in Kubernetes because that would be the deployment environment. Yeah, yeah. I think that uh, that is a good uh, option to select, but. Uh, I think we have we have a couple of discussion with the right people in the project before we uh, we decide on the final direction. Okay, thanks. And then, um, okay, great. Um, do, do we have do we have any other um, uh, comments? And uh, maybe I, I think Jono, we only uh, you are the only. Uh, you, uh, I, I don't think Sarav and the Shad is on the call here. Only Jono. Um, Jono, do you have any um, since with your experience with the existing ONF uh, testing suite? Do you have any um, comments on this one? Um, not really. I mean, I think I think this is a great initiative. I think we really need some integration tests um, for Volter, and, and so yeah, I think this is this would be great when, when we get this done. Right. And um and like we said, we can um sort of bring this into the to the Volta Jenkins and you know, if we have a small enough subset of the tests we can maybe run them um on every commit to make sure that the you know the the major features are still working uh, before you actually submit the code. And and at some point well, I want I wonder what some of the test script um if the uh Daniel they can also up updated the the voter Jenkins the 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 Jenkin test script within the ONF that uh, is that something we we want to look into yeah I, well i think um once we have the suite of integration tests that works then um like daniel said we we should at least have the voter jenkins running them uh nightly or you know periodically and then if we can if we can identify a subset of the test that you know can run in a short enough period of time, then we can also run them on a per commit basis, uh, you know, to kind of gate the commits in Garrett. Okay, great. Um, so, uh, I, I think, we, you know, we, we as a community, I, I, I really like this one, um, you know, so, uh, uh, Daniel, maybe we can, um, uh, you know, work with you with ONF, uh, after this call, uh, maybe sometime next week, and see how we can move forward with the contribution. Great, I'm looking forward to that. Okay. And uh, if if people has any um, comments or something like that, please let us know. Uh, at the meantime, um, I think the chip just uh, post something about that. I the the test adapter. Uh, it's a Volta six four one. Okay, Julie, back to you. Thank you, Thank Daniel. You. Thank you very well. Julie, you're mute. You're on mute. Daniel, would you be able to make the presentation available to the community via Volta Discuss? Yes, yeah, sure. I will send you the, the version I have uh, after the meeting. Great. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so uh, last call for comments or questions on the presentation before we move on on the next agenda topic. Okay, then the next thing I wanted to do since we are still planning to uh, to 
try to tag 1.3 on Monday is follow up on status updates to see if there's anything that we need to handle before then. I don't believe as of yesterday, at least, that I'd seen any comments on both the discuss related uh, to the the proposed deprecation of pond sim in uh, what am I saying? Sorry, <laughs> Canada of XPON in 1.3, and so I think we're still moving forward with that plan as of today, and the comment period remains open through tomorrow for that. So anything from the community on the call today before I move on to the next topic? Okay, then I also did want to comment, I did see Daniel from Telefonica, I believe you are on, and I saw that you had had submitted the, um, the update for the Micro Semi OLT adapter from Telefonica, those yep. updates are in Garrett now for review. So did you have any other questions for the community? It looks like the process got everything mm. submitted, which is good. Okay, no, that's uh, from, from my point of view, I would like just to, uh, to, receive, to receive any comment that you, that the community considers that for us to do any change before consider, uh, consolidating it. So we are more than open the, to that. And additionally, uh, I mean, we, I, we, we've just submitted the, the micro semi OLT adapter, uh, but we also have some adapters internally for the ONUs that we are using in our testing. Um, uh, uh, they are they are quite generic ones, uh, but uh, uh, we have granted the work for our beta with uh, the different hardware that we have. Uh, um, we have we already provide to real customers, and traditionally we are start we start uh, we started working with the um, <coughs> TV uh, XDPON adapter. So I mean, at some point in time, we could also add the the ONU adapters if it's okay for you. Thank you. Do we have any questions from the group for Daniel? Uh, he he might want to look at the assignees, the reviewers. Yep. If they come I, back. I was, yes, I was going to suggest we update reviews as well. So let, let me ask a, a, a little bit historical question here because the, mm -hmm. the Telefonica submitted a code. Um, the or, or, uh, initial code by the end of the December, and then the Telefonica mm -hmm. also gave a presentation um, uh, during one of the TST call around the time. Um, I think there was a concern regarding to the changes of, of the open flow dis, uh, decomposer. Uh, decomposer. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. So 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 so. I, I, to be honest, I, I wasn't sure the the previous code was successfully merged or not. Um, so, uh, and we have not, you know, I, I apologize mm -hmm. to Telefonica. We have not, you know, uh, closely, you know, monitoring the progress on that part. Um, so, uh, Daniel, do you have any up update on that one, or other people, if you have, if the, if your memory served? Um, do do we know exactly uh, what was the delay merging the, the 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 code of the Telefonica at least back in the 2017 time frame? I mean, I I think if not, uh, it was not abandoned somehow. We we got quite interesting feedback. Uh, I can't remember uh, people who sent sent to me some 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 messages on what we've done essentially. Uh, we suggested, okay, uh, let's keep it as it is, uh, so we can implement a refactor code with your um, comments. That's what we have done currently, and uh, what we are pro providing now is the result of that refactor. That uh, once we have done it, we actually don't, do do not uh, need to modify any core uh, file <laughs> from the from from Volta. So essentially, we are just providing the micro semi adapter self-contained okay with all the suggestions you you made uh, and we received during this period of time okay okay and we have we, internally what we have been doing is uh, we have been upgrading uh, the Tesla, the test lab we have to volta dot one dot two and we have been uh, working uh, for some time 
uh, with uh, with the core Volta without any changes for, for us. Okay, so we just just working on on the adapter itself. For sure, you could uh, have or rise uh, further comments. Uh, we are more than open to to keep uh, evolving it. Okay, at, at least at this moment, what we have does not require any changes from the core and. At least it's working for us in, in our premises. Okay, that's great. That's great. Um, so uh, sorry. Um, so I, I think John has been working with you regarding to the the the, the approach uh, how to resubmit the code, and uh, um, and I think I guess your your code has been submitted, and so right now just waiting for the review. Um, so uh, I think. Julie is the target. We can include this also in 1.3. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Um, I thought uh, 1.3. Do people have time to do the review of the code by then? Because that's uh, so we've got Friday and the weekend. It, it also means who's tested with the actual hardware, other than the developers, the code. I think it's going to be a stretch, to be honest. I, I think I think 2.0 would probably be the better place to look at it, just because of the timeline we have for 1.3. It's a 1.3 release branch. It's already cut. Is that accurate? Not yet, right? Well, is it? We haven't tagged it, but the, is the release branch cut? I do not know. John, do you know if we created the release branch? I don't know, but I can quickly check. I think we still have some outstanding uh, uh, JIRAs, and so, OK. Yeah, there's no branch yet. OK. So if this, gets, if this code gets uh, committed to master, it's going to be hard to keep it out of one three. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Uh, you do you want for me to? I mean, for me, yeah, I did it I did it there that way because I thought it was, but I can't uh, try. No, no, no. It's it's fine. It's fine. You, you, we, it's, nothing was done incorrectly. It's just we, we've. If this is going to be in one three, um, or not in one three, that decision has to be made, and based on that, then some uh, git magic is going to have to happen i mean we can we can just make the one three branch now if we're ready are we are we waiting on anything i think well our question still remains is this code going to be in one three or not how about how much effort need to need to apply again uh, i mean to to include them in one dot three it just update the micro stemming codes right adapter and and I think that the, as, as as far as Daniel was saying, um, the, the 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 changes they made on the core, they have removed that, so they they they, they didn't touch the core. So, um, uh, what what exactly is the review process, and then the time required to review this code? I think some of it's. There's a the code review and then there's the testing against physical hardware. I think it's that last bit that's going to be time consuming and I don't but know who has Does anybody it. else actually have the hardware to test with? Yeah. yeah. Because we, you would need we, the we Celestica and also and also Telefonica O and use, right? So I don't know right. if anyone yeah. else is I don't know if it's realistic to expect anyone else to be able to test with. <laughs> Well, I mean, we are using our our ONUs, but actually, it's supposed to work with any ONU. Uh, we can. I mean, we haven't tested with uh, Edge Core One or Broadcom One, sorry, but I think it should it should work. In any case, I agree with you. I mean, it needs probably needs some review and some comments are going to be presented. So, I mean, we should have uh, some time. We should give us some time to. To, to to take that into consideration. So as I understood, the time frame for this 1.3 is, is pretty close. I mean, right. we at least for myself, I'm I'm more than open and available to to make this integration. I mean, so to put some effort 
to do this review so we, this could keep we could be kept in uh, in later releases and as we mentioned we are also working in other open use adapters so probably i think uh, we could uh, be also interested in that so uh, what, what i see what i see is that the, the micro semi code as it is today is not is not usable because uh, it's incomplete so what we are submitting now works okay and breaks nothing so the, mm. there's no risk going because I, I, I don't think no one is, is really using it right and uh, so what uh, we have it uh, we have it deployed here and we have it running with uh, several users mm, i mean uh, for us it doesn't matter if you want to put it on one or three or two to zero okay so so if more more than open to any any suggestion for your side Okay. No, I, I I thank you for you know the the uh, you know the flexibility regarding to what the code you know is to be in. Um, I do have received some inquiry regarding people has been asking where's the you know micro semi adapter. I think mm -hmm. they are they are they <laughs> are are the are the interest um, regarding to uh, utilizing that adapter. So. Um, uh how about this um let me uh, julie let's work offline and okay. see how much risk and how much um uh, uh how much additional effort need to put in um uh, in order to include that in 1.3 if that's not feasible then we you know thanks for my uh telefonica they 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 they're okay with the put in 2.0 then we'll put in the 2.0 Two dot zero. Daniel, would that be okay? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Okay, great. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Sean, let's get together after the meeting today and discuss the next steps that we need to get done today on on figuring out the path forward and which which release. So we'll take that offline. Okay, uh, any other questions for Daniel before we move on? Okay, the next item I wanted to go to was circled back to, let me just do an update here, the sprint for items. And I think, where did it go? I wanted to talk about 667, which was listed as a block a blocker for this bug. And I don't believe we have either Sunny or Nick on the call today, but Sean, I believe you were aware of the discussion that took place. I believe that that Sunny had done some testing on related to this issue. We designed it to Sunny and I believe that that testing completed successfully. Right. right. I so, think, I, uh, let me ask, you know, since 1.3, um uh what uh, okay uh the so onf onf also has been um uh, uh, updating the olt right so and john do you know you guys have encountered some uh, this this issue or not basically uh, is no. i think the, P, the pdid was you know right now it's using the mac address right so so uh do you have the issue, the same issue here? Um, I'm not sure what the issue is. I don't think we've seen issues related to DPIDs. Okay. Um, I have not heard back from Stunny um, and, 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 and Nick. I'm pushing for this one to be con uh, to be closed. So, Julie, what time? Uh, when when can I close this one? I, I would like to get this. I mean, my preference was to have it resolved before the call today, but you know, as long as we have it done, I think by tomorrow, so that we can have it it cleaned up prior to when we start trying to work on the um, the the prep for tagging the release and everything as well. I'd like to have this one cleaned up so we have it before we close the sprint, basically. I think basically, I think in order to avoid this problem, we need to make sure we have the correct 
uh, edge core uh, patches, right? So, so it just the 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 packaging of the whole software need to be re, uh, uh, make sure we address that once they have the right, correct software and and uh, I think is Jason Juan on the call right now still. I yes. Thought. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, As good evening. <laughs> good evening. Um, good night here. <laughs> <laughs> so, um the new patch is required, right, for in order to get uh, so I I so I in any way um do for the community here, do we have a final bundle of the 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 the, the edge core version? To be released at the same time as the uh, uh, Volta 1.3. Uh, you mean the patch fire? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, uh, we need to figure this. Uh, at least on the documentation, we need to update with the 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 the, the, the edge core uh, uh, software, uh, the patch version uh, with Val, you mean, right? So, uh, you mean the Wacom SDK patch fire? Or not a patch fire. Um, I, I want to. I, I, I want to make sure what you mean in is the uh, is uh, regarding to the Volta patch fire or or the Broadcom SDK patch fire. I I don't know or the Red Redfish patch fire. So I want to make sure you are talking about which which one. Yeah, this one doesn't relate it to the Redfish just yet. It's just you want to bring up the OLT and then when the OLT comes up. I think the old way, the 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 port, I, the PDID was the you know cluster plus the the zero 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 one, you know you know. So I think uh, and the, the by the new new code using the the cluster ID plus the MAC address. I think that's the issue here, right? So so and so in in I believe did did the. the what Sunny has it worked, well, you know, with the, with updated the 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 bow driver and your patch, right? So, Julie, I think uh, the, the Julie is showing something there. Um, so, what I'm saying is, I want to make sure that you, when we release 1.3, we pr provide the correct information regarding to uh, what what edge core software or bow software version we need to clear indicate that if they have if they're still using this version back in the beginning of the january it would not work so it's just that yeah 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 i i think i i know i know i know you i mean the, and uh as i know the ptbid will be set up in the onos onos the some the some the json fire so I think if you want to uh, grab some the make fire like uh, management port or the make fire I think it's is is regarding to the, the management port of make fire so and uh, you I think in you in in the board task uh, with the owners setting you need to identify the the manage, management management port make address on the owner setting so if, if you want to the link, if you want to make a linking and with the owners and the voter. So you need to point to the, the which 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 management part of the own arrow make address you you using you used. So I think I I am not very clear this issue. So. And uh, we can talk about to the uh, maybe to the uh, sunny or the Nick. So uh, to move move to move forward and uh, to face this uh, the problem as soon as possible. So and uh, let's uh, find out. Okay. Do we do we have other uh, uh, other uh, test lab has been has experienced the same issue? No, as I test. No, no, no. Jason, I'm asking. Jason, I'm asking us, our, our other people within the community, not not to you. Um, okay. Uh, so we we were using the edge core adapter up until about three weeks ago, and it was working for us. So I'm not sure if this issue is more recently. Me too. Me too. Yes. Hmm. 
Yeah, Sunny, it has no issue for Sunny, but it has issue for the Foundry. But the uh, Foundry, um, Foundry was using older version of the everything. So, so you, you I, need I, Atlanta. You need yeah, Atlanta Foundry. Yeah. Yeah, I know Nick, but uh, I I'm not, I'm not very clear. And they uh, he had he has asking me this problem. I but I I I reply him about a TPIT information. So so I don't I don't get the, some information from him now. So okay, I don't what happened on on their what situation. So okay, yeah. great. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to pin them. So Julie, I'll I'll, I'll get this resolved today. Okay, thank you. And then one last item I want to jump over to uh, before I mention that we have to make sure release notes get prepared for 1.3 as well, is I wanted to go back to the, uh, the in-progress items and briefly touch on Redfish. So Kim, I think uh, Sunny had copied, or actually Sean had forwarded you some test results from Sunny. And so that's an email. Unfortunately, I don't believe any of that is in JIRA yet. So Sean, I'd like to make sure we get related test updates in JIRA also so people have the status there. But Kim, do you have any comments you can make related to, to uh, the testing results that you saw from Sunny, the summary? Yeah, it, was, yeah, it looked like, yeah, like the full integration test when it was all integrated together that it wasn't traffic wasn't working end to end and I'm not sure what um, you know where the um, you know the the problem you know what the what the problem was rooted there so um, um, not much more you know not much more I, I'm not sure really the you know the direction to take although she confirmed that it actually didn't work you know with the full ONOS test end to end so there, there just has to be more um, deeper dive debugging to find out what, you know, why it can't connect when, you know, when the, you know, the full, you know, the the full voltage deployment is, you know, is in there. So it's it's a chance that maybe those changes didn't get in the adapter, you know, correctly or something like that. I'm just not sure. But Kim, sorry for my ignorance, right? Why will you know, re, you know, Redfish, you know, rebooting OLT or de detecting the alarm, the, the the events on the on the fan, for example? Um, I, I guess I, I I thought the email what she was saying is the she observed the alarm, but the alarm may not be in the Kafka bus, right? So, but but the issue of the commands of the rebooting OLT and then the or detecting the fan failure, the the events observed on the on the edge core log, right? So so why would that affecting the end to end traffic? Are we talking about the same thing here? Mm. Yeah, that's that yeah, that's the the, the mystery in there as I yeah, I'm not sure, you know, what's 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 actually, you know, what's actually caught? Because it looked like two different, you know, when it was both it was tested in isolation all by itself, but um, the connection to the, you know, the the Redfish, you know, Redfish server was, you know, was observed. But you know, when it's, you know, when it was, there was comment that when it was deployed as as uh, the full Volta Onos deployment it wasn't able to connect back and that's the one that that had me you know that had me more concerned why did it why was why didn't it work in that case what was what was not there so okay you know, I, um, uh, Sean yes Sean, I can come in a bit little bit on this issue so I want to mention I I, I want I want to mention is uh, is that uh, if you want you want to test the uh, redfish functionality you don't need to care about owners it just care about Volta uh, use the gRPC connect to the OOT only so if you want to test uh, redfish you don't care about the uh, owners so we just make sure the between hey, we shall make sure the communication with the the both up and the and the OLT only. So that's the first thing. The other thing is uh, the you, you if we want to write a down, 
we we change it along the 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 method. So the I I I saw the same as sunny email and we got into the rise the along arrow. So I I I, I told him, I I I talk about the, the it's a need to update the source code like a patch file. So we add some value some value and to the to the red fish. So and the source code need to be updated and uh, and uh, and rebuild it. So if uh, if if all of you want to rise along the some condition will be will be and uh, will be allowed. So maybe maybe some the condition cannot match the cannot match the along along the situation. So I think uh, maybe Sunny can uh, rebuild the source code and uh, rebuild so and update first and uh, rebuild the source code. I think is uh, it can do the test. So and we can co and continue and to to co-work uh, Sunny about uh, the remind remind the testing. Okay. Julie, I think at this point we should not include these. Yes, that's sort of what I was why I wanted to circle back to it on today's call. But I also think it sounds like we need to get uh Sonny and Jason and and we'll keep Kim in the loop as well, of course, but get Sonny and Jason uh in some discussion on on Sean, I, I remember you, you you click of another meeting, right? Sean? Yes. Uh, what's the question? Sorry. So I think I remember you kick off another meeting with the and that's another that meeting. That, that's 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 for the May first. Yes. May first. Yes. Yes. And yeah. I said that's, at London and the foundry. Right? Yeah, at the foundry. Yes. Okay. So are you, I, I, are you, when are you moving to the United States? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> So, I, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I mean, Jason. Maybe. Let's Jason. Let's let, uh, yeah. well, let's I've work offline on this one. I've got about one minute left. So, so I I think at this point, why I wanted to bring this discussion up was was twofold, really. One is I don't think we're ready to pull the redfish items into 1.3, and and that's I think reflected also they're still in the in progress. And I also think we need to make sure we get those updates from Sunny into the Jerry ticket so that we can co get comments from the community if needed. And we may need to have some side discussion then also between Sunny and Jason uh, to see if there's some um, some additional rework or retesting that can happen based on the feedback from Jason. So let's try and get the updates into JIRA so that we have visibility to the latest status for the rest of the folks to see. And then uh, Kim, I think at this point, we're, we're likely carrying over the Redfish work to 2.0. Is that your assessment as well? Yeah, I don't I don't yeah. think it can go in because it <laughs> I, may, it, we, it may have, destabilize. Right. Yeah. So I think all of that will just stay in the in progress and to do state when I close out the sprint and then we'll move it into 2.0 and carry it into continuation in, in the first sprint for uh, 2.0 work. Okay. And mm -hmm. I think with that, I'm out of time. So quick comments from the group. Uh, just a quick com comment, uh, uh, Julie, on the Kubernetes. Uh, we yeah. have oh. uh, one update that we're going to submit uh, later today. Okay. And then uh, we'll be able to close that. Uh, and, and by the way, the update is uh, uh, we we used to support uh, to have multi master support on Kubernetes, but with our testing, we're realizing that it's very unstable by having multi master. So now we'll, we're going to make a change to have a single master for 1.3 release. And hopefully for 2.0 release, uh, Kubernetes multi master environment will be more stable so that we can use multi master at that time. Okay. Okay, thank you for that. So we'll watch for those JIRA updates um, on the project. And then any other comments we need from the group related to 1.3? Okay, and we do have the plan to hopefully tag 1.3 on Monday if all goes well. So we'll need to figure out um, 
roles for getting that done. And I am out of time though, so I probably should drop the call. Uh, so we can work um, via email or Volta Discuss on the plan for getting 1.3 tagged next week. Other comments before we drop the bridge today? All right, thank you everyone. And I will talk to you soon and I will get the recording posted up on, on YouTube as usual. Thanks everyone, I'll stop the recording.